Watch Truth Talk News Live, Fight the New World Order, Fridays, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, on Livestream.com forward slash Truth Talk News. So, yeah, all of these people are racist. So you think this just went away? These are the elite. They just closed their mouths. Now, exactly. Uh, the natural allies, of course, were Hitler. Hitler, during Hitler's regime, the Germans were supplied with elaborate charts and complicated theses supposedly proving the superiority of the German people, and it's interesting to note that black people were really in a lot of trouble in Germany, man. They just, but no one ever talks about it. They would assure Nordic dominance and sterilize the blacks and their children. Yeah, indeed. You got to, you hit the head, the head right on, the nail right on the head there, Howard. Yeah. And then the Jews, they blamed, they, they blamed bring, the Jews for bringing the Negroes into, into the Rhineland. Mm -hmm. That's in Mein Kampf. So, I mean, yep. yeah, this is really, really true that there is this conspiracy to depopulate specific uh, races and technically all of us because of this whole thing. They want so many of us gone. But it does come out of the ideologies of elitist Americans and British. Yeah, indeed. It's like, uh, you know, Willem Kaiser, okay? It's another, it's another one here. I mean, this guy, if, if I'm correct, okay, was given the no the Nobel Prize for medicine. Yeah, does this sound familiar? Like with like Obama getting the Nobel Prize for medicine? It's like ridiculous. Yeah. Watch Truth Talk News Live. Fight the New World Order. Fridays, seven PM Eastern Standard Time on livestream.com forward slash truth talk news. Uh, unbelievable. Yeah, it sure is. Um interestingly enough, uh we have this long history of the Rockefeller Foundation funding these eugenics programs. And, of course, they own Time Magazine, the interest of that. And the American Eugenics Research goes back to the Cold Spring Harbor Eugenics uh, Records Office in 1910, which is now a uh, – it's basically <laughs> a, a, a bioweapons facility, I guess, wouldn't that be yep. just, you know, to call it. Um, and this, these Nazis have been put back in our government through – Project Paperclip uh, after the war and are responsible for a lot of horrible things <laughs> after they they were uh, you know committing those horrible atrocities in World War II. Well, but, indeed, and look, look, let's, what about how about you know Bear, for instance, you know oh, yeah. I, Farben. I mean, the, one of the, the the richest companies on the planet at its time was supporting chemicals to be put into human beings you know oh yeah uh, just the atrocities are so so much that there's no way you can possibly find all the all the evidence on them well it's even getting worse because as terrible as it is for somebody to be a rapist they are now trying to do medical experiments on rapists this came out recently uh, medical experiment on prisoner rapists mm -hmm. and they're trying to legitimize this this is how the Nazis did it we got the socialism program going in here. Everyone's being politically correct. Oh, they're rapists, you know, so they don't have, you know. Um, the individual rights are being violated left and right. Um, and the United Nations is behind much of this, especially the Fund for Depopulation, Memorandum 200. What about all this, this uh, depopulation through the Ford administration with uh, Nelson Rockefeller and Hare Kissinger? And yeah, I mean... Kissinger was basically put in control under the, the Club of Rome for one purpose, you know, and, and this is a big part to play when it comes to depopulization, and his main goal, actually, well, his main, his main uh, task, if you will, was to basically make sure that there were three wars created in uh, Korea, Vietnam, and the Middle East, and look what happened. History tells us what happened. Yes, it does. You know, and he was in head... I believe it was in 1978, he was put in charge of these uh, three wars. And he has stated in, in his manifesto, which came out in the 70s, a guideline for how to depopulate the planet. Oh, yes. It was uh, Memorandum 200. It was 1974. That's right. Yes. yes. And then, of course, um, it's just out of control. They want to teach children about birth control in, in, in preschool and, and, and first grade and kindergarten. I mean, it's just crazy, you know? Yeah, and uh, it's, it, it doesn't just stop with the human beings, too, eh, Howard? You know, oh, when, you yeah. when, you when you just when you talk about eugenics, a lot of people, especially a lot of truth seekers, and I'm not going to try to, like, upset any truth seekers. That's not my goal here. But eugenics also has to do with... Animals. That's right. The entire food chain. 
Yeah. You screw you screw around with one part, one aspect of it, it's like a domino effect, it will all fall. And that's what we've seen with Fukushima Daiichi. Oh, you know, yes. with nuclear reactor meltdown. We're seeing the consequences of what's going on with the Pacific Ocean. We've seen the birds falling from the sky. Thanks, Todd. We're going to go back to our top story where a bizarre story is coming out of BB where thousands of blackbirds were found dead. Channel 7's Roger Suzanne and has more. I thought it was out of an Albert Hitchcock movie. When you first get the call, you think it's a New Year's joke, but uh, it's, it wasn't a joke. I thought the mayor was messing with me when he called me. He got me up at 4 o'clock in the morning and told me he had birds falling out of the sky. Arkansas Game and Fish has collected some of the dead animals and will perform tests on Monday to try and determine the cause. Officials believe it's weather-related, like lightning or high atmosphere hail. Over the past few years, thousands upon thousands, fish, fish boiling up from the sea in Sweden with no eyes. What is this from? Chemtrails. That's right. Okay. You That's look right. at chemtrails as another aspect of the eugenics IG ideology. Farben, you know, type of, yeah. uh, you know, who, who knows creating these, these poisons? The same companies, American IG Farben, all the chemical companies are owned, Dow Chemical. They're all owned oh, yeah. by the same people, same ruling class families, the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers, and, and their yeah. ilk. Yeah, exactly. You know, and the thing about it is that a lot of people don't realize that the Rockefeller Foundation, <laughs> I love the word foundation, you know, the Rockefeller Foundation, they're the ones that created the education system, or as I like to call it, the indoctrination system. That's right. It's exactly what they did. And, and listen to this quote from the Club of Rome. So just to know where people are at, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's just hard to believe, but it is true that if present growth trends in world population, industri industrialization, pollution, food production, and resource depletion continue unchanged, just like this propaganda in this movie we've seen, the limits to growth on this planet will be reached sometime within the next 100 years. Well, that was in 1972, which was 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. 40, you know, 41 years ago. Are, do you feel that in the next 60 years that we are going to be in this cataclysmic, outrageous, uh, you know, ridiculous uh, idea. I mean, is it possible? No way. No way. It's all a fraud. It's to, mm -hmm. it's to just collect money like the World Wildlife Fund. They're killing the animals while they're saying they're helping them. It's yeah, exactly. Disgusting. Same it's with disgusting. UNICEF. We're helping people. We're Same giving money to PETA. Uh, yeah. PETA is the worst because yeah. do, you know it's like it, it's it's just everybody feels for PETA because they put out all these nice pictures and my wife loves animals and it's a controlled front. That's what it is. Oh, indeed, and that's how they get you. That is how they get you, brother. That is how they get you. It's unfathomable. So you have um, just let's 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 back up on this. So we know that they're putting stuff in the in the water. We know they're putting stuff in the, in the food supply. They've been poisoning it. Hey, we made some strides. They're going to try to take trans fats out. The FDA says they've got to be removed from these processed foods. You know, everything they needed to do to pro preserve the length of the, the food stays on the shelf longer at the expense of your health. Mm -hmm. So they can make more profit. You know, they don't have to throw away their product. That's what it comes down to. So Stalin kills 40 million of his own people. He's on there with Yalta, sitting there with three masons sitting there on a, on a chair, on a table and deck, uh, at the, the former Tsar's palace that they killed, had killed, their bankers had killed. And we're now, where, where are we? We have a Cold War that was set up that was a fraudulent war for the bankers to build up the military-industrial complex of the world and bring us closer to this, to this control of the population. I'm sorry, I was ranting. Go ahead, Chris. No, no, no. No problem there, Howard. You know, but we're seeing it today. We're seeing exactly what happened back then when Stalin was in power. What he did to his people by starving them, we're seeing it today on the streets of America because it is illegal in most states to feed the homeless. You can feed a cat. You can feed pigeons. But you can't feed a person. Hey, that's true. And you know what's even more incredible about this? Is that, and I'm glad that I thought about this, was that in New York, this is verified, that uh, they are rounding up the homeless in New York City and putting them on Ellis Island in a FEMA camp to keep them yeah, safe. that's true. Because it's cold. Yeah, so they that's wanna, it. They want to make sure that they're safe. Now, I'm all for that if they want to go. 
But these people, for whatever reason, they call them mentally ill. I, I think that it's a more sinister plot, personally. Why are they so, you know, how they want to just try to get people off the street, put them in these FEMA camps, get us used to seeing these FEMA camps to help the homeless. Next thing you know, all these people in every different town and state, all the homeless people get put into FEMA camps. Then they can start putting other people into FEMA camps. I mean, maybe exactly. I'm paranoid, but I, you know, that is, it's been done before, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not making this stuff up. Well, no, the sheeple out there, Howard, are going to see this as, as being a positive thing. Oh, the homeless people have nice new little cages to be locked up in. They mm. must be nice and warm. No. What are they doing to those people in the FEMA camps? That's what the people out there need to be asking the question. And why should we even have FEMA camps? Good point. Really good point. You know, all this, this horror, this horror that's going on, uh, it's, just, it's just incredible. It, and it's never-ending, too, you know. Uh, they, they keep, they keep uh, putting these, uh, oh, there's our two-minute warning. They keep putting uh, all of these roadblocks up to, to try to distract us, all these things to get in the way of the truth. But, you know, we can't fight, you know, we, we can't stop fighting the New World Order no matter what. So what are your closing thoughts? Let's try to recap here, Chris. Yeah, well, Howard, you know, we need to unite. That's the only way we're going to defeat the New World Order. Unity is our prime our prime goal, if you will. We need unity. Without unity, we're finished. That's basically it. I don't care if you're part of the 9-11 Truth Movement, We Are Change, or other movements. Just, you know, yeah, yeah, unite together. Bail out. Sell out. Amen, New brother. Hey, this was our Fox first safety broadcast. Tune in next week. Henry Kissinger. Next Friday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on Livestream.com, Truth Talk News, and we're going to be going over Project Bluebeam and uh, Reverse Engineering. Sounds good, brother. Excellent, bro. CIA smuggles drugs while Wachovia and Wills Fargo launder them, then give the proceeds to the owners of the Federal Reserve Bank. Now, the IRS takes money out of every single check. Money they create it out of thin air and leave you with debt. They want to make you a serf, a slave to their demand. They want to take your life in every way they can. Fluoride, GMO, vaccines, chemtrails, United Nations genocide. The world they show us is not real. This is how they kill and steal. Rothschild, Bundy, Rockefeller, Club of Rome. On the Georgia Guide, soldiers written in stone. Cut through the matrix, awaken to the lies. Do not be hypnotized. We are one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Watch Truth Talk News Live every Friday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Livestream.com forward slash Truth Talk News. Also, subscribe and subscribe to YouTube.com slash Freedom First Films. I'm Howard Nima. Thank you for watching.